Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. What is this? A Loonbocker. I captured it. Many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Here. Maybe there's another way up? This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. What for? If you could... <laughs> Thank you. 
That creature's hurting. I'm going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Anything illuminating. Fat was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. sort of device.
that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now, but apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it? No, not when we can save it. Good, we can reach the tail from this dock. Still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <sighs> Oh! <laughs> 
as well. <sighs> Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face -face combat? Creature, the mining race. Their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But. No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only 
better than they were. It likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. But that's not enough. It seldom is. Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil. Hmm. Huh. Lucky us. You collected Kavasir's stories? <clears throat> Give him here! <clears throat> Huge fan! Would have been a shame to have left that behind. Still a pleasure to see you anyway. That ought to hurt him. What can I make for you? A good fit. Be safe! Huh. If it isn't my two favorite customers, and Mamir. Hey, Asin. Think that crane still works? Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. 
I don't get it. The doors weren't chained up like the Lumbacher. Couldn't they quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. An Yggdrasil seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Great. Now we can make it across. Behind you! They just keep coming. It's a Bergsra. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. On your left! <laughs>
It is done. If you could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Ah, with the mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. Ago, you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Going to Derlin's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. For Darlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. I think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is going to scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. 
But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Right, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Okay, as I was saying, I think Erlen wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Erlen helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight.
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe ah, we'll be able to see a mine up there. quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train in when you're ready, brother. <laughs> 